Hello, my name is Yan Bang Wang. I'm making this video to present our WebConf21 research paper titled TADIC, Neural Modeling of Behavioral Patterns in Dynamic Social Interaction Networks. The work is done in collaboration with Pan Li, Chong Yang Bai, and Yuri Laskovic. Social interactions are common in our daily lives. When two or more people interact with each other, the patterns of their communication behaviors, which are usually combinations of eye contact, speaking, listening, head poses, voice pitches, mouth opening, all carry important clues that are indicative of, the, of their social status or relationships. Recent years have seen a lot of interest in studying patterns of human behaviors in social interaction. Given observations of those interactions, researchers are usually interested in making inference about certain social characteristics of people. The representative cases including, include detect, detecting hidden liars in the group, identifying the level of dominance, or making inference about people's friendship. To abstract and model social interactions over time, we use dynamic networks. Dynamic social interaction networks contain three elements. It has nodes, where each node represents one person in the interaction event. It has timestamped edges, where each edge represents one particular piece of interaction between people occurring at a certain time. And the exact type of interaction is up to our own definition. The node also has behavior features as dynamic attributes. The dynamic attributes are usually collected from cameras or sensors. Here, the figure illustrates a simple scenario where eight people interact with each other and their interactions are captured by eight cameras in real time. Despite the importance of dynamic social interaction networks, mining indicative features from them is a challenging task. The first challenge is that behaviors can be highly dynamic and interweaving. Here is a visualization of people's behavior features in one data set we use. In this interaction event, we have five participants, D0 to P4, Let's primarily look at eye focus of two people, P0, the blue line, and P1, the red line. The two lines show how the eye focus of a person can shift quickly from one to the other. In fact, both people shift their eye focus for more than 30 times within one minute. We also recognize their facial expressions into one of the eight emotions, which are also high frequent as visualized here. In practice, there are way more than two features that we probably want our model to consider. And they are all frequent, they are all high frequent and interweaving together. So this introduces great challenge as to how we can really combine them most effectively. Here's the second challenge. If we do not want to miss out the very subtleties of the behaviors, the number of interactions um, can be huge as shown in the stats table of our data set. In this table, we count the number of instantaneous interactions happening with corresponding people's gazing probability larger than 0.5. The huge number of instantaneous interactions constitute long temporal sequence. Because of that, RNN-based methods are usually very ineffective for modeling dynamic networks of such. Previous work on this typically focuses on designing handcrafted features that are task specific and rely on domain knowledge in social science and psychology. However, they also have prominent drawbacks, including um, being overly task specific, time consuming, and that experts are not readily um, available always. To address these problems, we propose a neural network model that features one unified end-to-end -end training architecture, which has better expressed power expressive power, and enables automatic feature engineering. The framework also has other favorable properties. They contain some interpretable parameters that can be analyzed to gain social insights. It judges people from different places with decent fairness. It can also be applied to dynamic social networks of other natures. Now let's give the problem formulation, and we start by uh, defining the static network G equal to V, E, A, and X. V is the set of nodes, E is the set of edges. The adjacency matrix A is derived from E, um, and we assume it has three properties. It should be weighted and positive, meaning that each element in the matrix should fall in between zero and one. It should also be stochastic matrix, meaning that each row of the matrix should sum up to one. 
finally, we also have feature matrix X, where each row of maps is featured for one node. Generalizing from static network to dynamic network is trivial. We only need to index the static networks by their timestamp T. Therefore, each static network is one snapshot of the dynamic network. The standard output of our framework is one embedding for each person that summarizes the person's behaviors throughout the whole interaction event. The embeddings can then be conveniently used for the downstream inference task of the person's social characteristics. Here's an overview of our framework, um, Temporal Network Diffusion Convolutional Network, or TEDIC. Our input is one dynamic social interaction network as we just defined. In the first module, we apply network diffusion within each snapshot and obtain one feature for each person in the snapshot. This step models how people interact and influence each other in real time. Then we take a different perspective by putting together each person's features over time. A set temporal convolutional network is then applied to filter, collect, and further process behavioral patterns scattered over time for each person. Now let's zoom in to the first module, network diffusion. One special thing about so social interaction networks is that the behavior to avoid interactions can be very informative. For example, previous works have shown that some blind people tend to avoid direct contact and some others tend to talk less often. So we consider both the original interaction networks and their complement network simultaneously. Uh, we introduce a parameter beta that fall in between zero and one to interpolate these two networks um, to obtain a new adjacency matrix, A prime, and then we normalize A prime by its own degree to get W prime, the random walk matrix. A larger beta here suggests that making interaction is more informative to make a prediction correctly, while a smaller beta emphasizes that avoiding interaction may be the key. Now we perform network diffusion of node attributes based on the induced random walk matrix W prime. Notice that here um, we index um, many notations by the subscript T because we're considering the diffusion process within one snap network snapshot. Recall that the input is XT. Given the input, we first apply the pre-transformation function F um, that projects features in XT to a new dimension. The output is the layer zero embeddings, HT zero. Then the diffusion process is defined by the second equation. The learnable parameters are gammas, where for each subscript K, gamma K is a diagonal matrix that provides the weights for the case hop diffusion. To aggregate node features over time, we propose a method called set, set temporal convolutional network, STCN to handle the complex and long-term temporal social interactions. The input of this block is a sequence of node features, HT, where each HT denotes the embeddings of all nodes for each snapshot T. In this module, we no longer consider the interactions among different nodes, so it is basically sufficient to think each T contains feature for just one node. The job of STCN here is to transform a sequence of features into a single feature, Z out, that summarizes the whole time sequence. Here are the two philosophies behind our design. The first philosophy is based on the observation that recognition and collection of local patterns may be highly important. For example, consider the pattern in which A looks at B and then B avoids the eye contact. Patterns of search happens in an instant, but tells a lot about A and B's identity. Our model should also be capable to deal with such subtleties and complexities of behavior signals. In comparison to the importance of local patterns, we attach less significance to the global orders. Um, let's still consider the same pattern. It arguably actually um, matters less when the when uh, whether the pattern occurs in the second or the third minute. What we care more about is whether the pattern occurs or not, or how many times it occurs in total. Ignoring the global order allows much better parallelization of computing without wiping out too much information that are useful. 
the STCM block is built for this target with two components. While we don't go into the very details of the formulas here, the idea is that the first component consists of multiple temporal convolutional network layers that capture the local dynamics. The second component is a set temporal uh, set pooling to collect local patterns randomly scattered over the whole time span. Notice that the pooling function essentially ignores the global order of the patterns by treating them as a set. Our proposed model is evaluated over five data sets on three different social characteristic classification tests, um, detecting dominant, deceptive, or lying, and nervous people among a group of interacting ones. They can be modeled as either binary class or multi-class node level classification task. The classification is done once for each dynamic network. The raw data of the data sets is a collection of videos and each video records a group conversation that ranges from five to 40 minutes and contains frontal views of each individual in the group. We process the videos to extract various behavioral features. The features consider people's face, voice, mouth movement, and eye contact. We compare with two groups of baselines. The first group is knowledge-based baselines that are task-specific and involves feature engineering for each specific task. The second group is the GN variants for uh, dynamic networks. We can see that TADIC uh, can achieve state-of-the-art on all the tasks um, according to the ta performance table that we report here. Here is a list of further experiments that analyze and interpret our work. Um, because of the time limit, we only highlight two of them here. In this experiment, we studied the interpretation of beta. Recall that beta is the learnable parameter that directly um, controls the relative importance of proactive interaction versus the avoidance of interaction. Um, as shown in the formula here, the figure shows how beta converges during the training, epoch by epoch. For each task, we um, introduce small perturbation to beta's initialization and rain multiple times. We can see that beta converge to very different places for different tasks. For deception detection, we see beta ends up at a very small value, meaning that avoiding interaction is more informative for making prediction. For dominance identification, in contrast, beta goes to a very large value, and so seeking interaction can be regarded as more informative. The nervousness detection is a case in between. And this coincides with the findings of a psychological theory. We also study the general applicability of our method. We ask the question, is TADIC applicable to a wider range of dynamic social interaction networks? The way we approach this is that we evaluate it um, on a very different social interaction network whose dynamics are less vibrant and the sequence sh is shorter. The data set is called Context in the Workplace, which contains 92 people's proximity information over two weeks collected by body sensors in an office building so that we can have one proximity network for each day. The task is to infer the company departments of each uh, company department that each person belongs to. So as shown in the performance uh, table here, we compare with our model with the GN baselines. We observe that our model can still perform well in a very different scenario. We attribute this consistent performance uh, of our model to the high robustness of STCM block to deal with sequence um, of various lengths. So um, please check out our paper for more details and thank you very much for watching.